Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, the story I'm about to share with you, this is absolutely huge. There's many different sources reporting on this, but I'm going to share with you what just came out on Zero Hedge. Look at the title of this article, folks. United Nations planning digital ID linked to bank accounts. The United Nations is planning to introduce a global digital ID system that is linked to individuals' bank accounts. Let me read some of this to you folks. The United Nations, the UN, is planning to introduce a global digital ID system that is linked to individuals' bank accounts. The plan, which is similar to the system developed by the World Economic Forum, is outlined in three new policy briefs from the UN titled A Global Digital Compact Reforms to the International Financial Architecture and the Future of Outer Space Governance. The goal of the briefs is to advance UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres' vision for the future. Officially titled Our Common Agenda, Gutierrez's vision should be given the green light in September 2024 during an event dubbed the Summit for the Future. I mean, folks, this is absolutely huge. Ever since I started my channel, I've said keep your eyes on the United Nations because they are going to play a huge role in playing a part in bringing forth the future Antichrist. And here they are coming out and telling you plainly that they're planning to introduce a global digital ID system that is going to be linked to your bank account. And they're even giving you a timeline. We know that we keep hearing about Agenda 2030. Uh, you know how they want to have a one world government in place basically by the year 2030. And they have all these goals and things they want to achieve by then. Uh, but now they're telling you that this goal of introducing a global digital ID system that's going to be linked to your bank account should be given the green light in September 2024 during an event dubbed the Summit for the Future. Now, why am I talking about this and why is this absolutely huge? Well, because we know, according to the pages of End Times Bible Prophecy, specifically Revelation chapter 13, after the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ, during the coming tribulation period, there has to be a system in place. It has to be a digital system that's going to be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet. And it's going to be able to control all buying and selling. This current system that's in place, it must come down in order for this new one to come forth. And we see the World Economic Forum, the United Nations, world leaders and governments around the world getting ready for this digital system. That's why we keep seeing all these pilots, uh, pilot programs for digital currencies. And some countries have already dumped their previous form of currency and are now have actually launched a digital currency as their main form of currency. Because this whole system, it has to go digital. So everything that's happening, it's happening exactly as the Bible said that it would. And here we have the United Nations telling us plainly that they want to have a global digital ID system attached uh, to our bank accounts. And the green light should be given in September 2024. They're giving you a timeline. Can you not see where this is all headed, folks? And if we know the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ needs to occur before the Antichrist is revealed and before the tribulation period can begin, and we see the tribulation period casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. All I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat 
right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with them forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day, very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.